All right, hey paddlers, so out here off the beautiful Gold Coast, just going over one of the shark nets. So we got sort of a east southeast swell. We've probably got a southeast wind. You probably see the swirls going behind me. I want to sort of head. Well, obviously I'm trying to head to the to the Gold Coast. Um, the swell's probably a little bit right to left for me today. So um, if I bring it around a little bit, you might be able to see the swirls behind. That's sort of going to be my angle. But as you can see, the they're sort of going off there at about that 11 o'clock. So this is really going to be a classic of catch left, drift right. Um, we're probably lucky to have 10 knots. So those little catches aren't going to be really massive amounts they're not going to be like i'm going to be able to stop and coast or or relax or anything so i'm just really looking for that little bit of a lift that little bit of probably effort off the catches still take full strokes still put power down but just try and take that little bit of so that'll be my relaxation that'll be my recovery when i get on one of those little runners over here to the left side so i can just take the power off the catch a bit give myself two or three four if i'm lucky strokes recovery and then once I've sort of hit top speed or it's padded out, then I can just start coming back to, to heading for the middle of uh, Gold Coast high rises. And it's just going to be a little left, right, little left, right, little left, right. Um, obviously here on the coast, we want to stay as deep as possible for as long as possible. As you can see behind us there, cool and glado blocks. A lot of our swell in this little bay here that we're at near the Gold Coast airport. So we want to try and get out deep as quickly as we can. So from here to Burley, um, you know, it's going to be pretty flat and a uh, fair bit of effort. And then hopefully after Burley, you start hitting those big sea swirls coming in um, to North Burley, um, Nobbies, Miami, Mermaid, up into Broadbeach. So, uh, so we've really just got to get the first half done, stay nice and relaxed, and hopefully the second half will be a little bit more funner. So anyway, let's see how we go. So here's my first swirl, so I just got a little bit of left angle. So I'm not quite following, I'm sort of 45 degrees to the swirl here. So I'm not going to go 90 degrees with it because that's the wrong direction. So I can feel that little left in the tail. And then I'm just going to wait till I fall off it. And then I'm just going to have a little bit of a, probably less than five degree turn back to the coast and where I want to go. As I said, most of it's going to be just nice and cruisy. So getting in those little whirls. Try and pick up before the swirl gets to you. That's the main thing. You sort of react as that ski drops. By the time you uh, by the time you pick up uh, boat speed, the swirl's already gone under you. So I try and think at least two doubles or two strokes. Sorry in front of what you want to do when you hit top speed and they're just feathers on the rudders we don't want any cavitation more rudder turn more cavitation slower you're going to go so it's just get a feel for the water make sure you're moving forward you obviously know what your race pace for whatever distance is going to be so good indicator of that is you know whatever your flat water 15k pace is that's um that's the minimum just speed and then obviously with a bit of wind and swirl you're hopeful of going you know half a k k faster on average and then k k and a half faster if you get a good swell so anyway Let's see how we go.